next problem is 5 plus 8. There is 5. We want to add 8. We've got 3 down here, but we don't have a 5. So we'll have to add 10, take away 5. We've added 5, and now we add 3 more. That adds 8. The answer is 13. 5 plus 8 equals 13. Our next problem is 9 plus 4. 5 and 4 is equal to 9. We want to add 4. We don't have 4 beads available to use. They're all used. All 4 beads are in use right now. We can't add a 5 and take away 1. So what we have to do is we have to add 10 and take away 6 because 10 minus 6 is equal to 4. So we have our answer, 9 plus 4 is equal to 13. Next problem, 9 plus 8. Four, or 5 and 4 is 9. We want to add 8. We don't have any beads that we can use. So we want to think of adding 8 as adding 10 and taking away 2. Add 10, take away 2 because 10 minus 2 is 8. We've added 8, and our answer is 17. The next problem, 6 plus 9. 6 is 5 and 1. We want to add 9. We don't have 4 beads that we can use, and we don't have a 5 bead that we can use, so we have to add 10 and take away 1. 10 minus 1 is equal to 9, so we've just added 9, and our answer is 15. And our last problem, 9 plus 5. 5 and 4 is 9. We want to add 5. We don't have a 5 bead that we can use, so we have to add 10 and take away 5. And there we have our answer, 14. 9 plus 5 equals 14. So what you want to do is you want to practice these on your own. Practice with some simple one-digit addition till you get used to the concept of adding 10 and taking away appropriate number when you don't have enough beads, or adding 5 and taking away an appropriate number when you don't have enough beads.